Thanks for visiting Phil B for Gold. I hope you enjoyed your lesson and what I want to do now is give you a short video recap of what you learned today. Thanks again and best of luck. Hi John, great to see you tonight. Uh, just a quick recap on some of the movements we worked on. So takeaway, it's going a little bit inside, that's a typical little thought I see with a lot of clients, but it's okay, we left that alone tonight. Top of the swing, very good for you, very good turn, right hips, great, left arms covered, all really, really good, John. Coming down, we just saw you was either hitting it very, very good or you was hitting that sort of powder puff shot to the right. So as you start your transition, knees are good, legs are great coming down, club's good here coming through the right forearm, left arm's great. But if we just have a little look at this club face here, we can see the uh, the leading edge is leaning back slightly. If we just have a look at Adam Scott here on the right, we see when his, he starts down, he'll get cutting through that right forearm of his, but we can see his club face coming down here is the toe is pointing at the sky. Okay, so we can see that quite clearly if we draw a line up through the head there. We can see that his line is in a slightly different angle to yours. So when you're coming into an impact here, John, we can now see coming in here, we can see how open that club face is, especially that one frame just here. We can see the leading edge again is sort of leaning back. And if we look at Adams coming down, we can see that actually his now starts to go the other way. So he starts to get it slightly closed. So from the position you're in, John, you've really got to rotate them hands very, very fast to get the club face being square. And you can see you're really trying to do that. We can see coming into here, the club face is definitely pointing to the right. And then look at the next frame. You really rotate that club face. Now the club face is pointing straight left. So you're really having to manipulate that too much. And that's no good for timing or anything like that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be too, uh, too difficult for you. So just for you on the way down all I tried to do is get you just feeling that the club face was just a little bit shut so when you bring it down to here the club face will actually be looking at the ground uh, opposed to at the moment yours is almost looking at the sky and when you started to do that oh dear would we see a difference driver was incredible and irons were very very good John really impressed with your uh, game at the moment your swing but if we look at Adams again we can see how much he's pointing at the ground and that just means that when he comes through impact here, we can see he's got a little bit more loft on the club face, sort of there, opposed to yours. You can see once again he's pointing down, and we can see with his, his is pointing more this way. So it just means there's less manipulation um, with the hands for impact. John, really, really good. We worked on that little flop shot or lob shot of yours, just really, really soft grip, and just allow the hands to sort of slide under it. Don't hold on to it at all. Well, I hope that helps, and if you have any questions or you're finding the move particularly difficult, please contact me on the numbers on this page or via my email address, philbeaver at hotmail.co.uk. Many thanks.